What's going on guys, RotsonAP here, and today I'm bringing you what will most likely be my last Black Ops 3 video. Uh, at, I may do a Your Class My Style, because I did promise you guys one, actually more than once, so I should probably do that for my last video, just to kind of close it out with something you guys really enjoy. So, I'm going to get right into it, I'm going to do this as a final thoughts on Black Ops 3 as well as my plans for Infinite Warfare, so I'm going to try not to get off topic too much. As far as Black Ops 3 goes, for the most part I like the game. If I want to give it a rating, I'd give it a 7 or an 8, depending on my mood, what I'm playing, especially if it's competitive. I loved competitive in this game, the only thing that drove me nuts a little bit was the movement and like the gunfights would be a little inconsistent. Just like, well the movement was the same, but you just get destroyed because of the movement. And there'd be a guy 50 feet in the air that you can't even see on your screen. Stuff like that. And then the gunfights, like sometimes you shoot first, and but you die even though you're hitting your bullets. Yada yada, host could be OP depending on what coast you're playing on. But other than that, the game was pretty solid. This gameplay is a good example of some of the things that annoyed me about the game. The specialists, the shotguns, and all the melee weapons, those are what I died the most to in this gameplay. I died to a scythe several times. I cut out a lot of the deaths. I died 17 times. It was a solid It was a solid game besides that fact. But I died to the prize fighters, which is a one-hit kill, even though the fists, which are bare knuckle, are a two-hit kill. Makes no sense. I died to the prize fighters several times. Scythe killed me a bunch. Even though they nerfed it a lot, it's still pretty powerful. I enjoyed using it, but I hate the specialist concept altogether, unless it's like combat focus or something, which is basically like hardline on steroids. So that was cool. Um, I died hitting my combat focus several times, like immediately after I used it, I died. Uh, the shotguns were really annoying, like the fully auto ones, aka the haymaker that killed me multiple times. Uh, the good things about this game though in general, the streaks were pretty, pretty good. The weapons were fun. The VMP is one of my favorite guns to use in Call of Duty history. Uh, I might sound crazy, but I really love the VMP and my shot is elite with it on this game. And uh, speaking of that, this gameplay here, the way I'm playing, is why my name is Raw. If you guys have ever wondered, if you've not seen the why I have my name video that's like old, that's part of it, is I just run at people and spin around and stuff. So I had a good time, even though I died a lot. Would have been 100 plus, but we capped a lot of flags, so that sucked. And I died obviously way too much to get my streaks. Overall though, Black Ops 3, solid game. I don't hate it. Uh, like I did in the beginning, I've, I've grown to like it. Competitive has helped me out a lot. I had a lot of fun playing competitive in this game, whether I lost a lot or not. Uh, we still had a positive competitive record. Uh, I did on my profile. So we're going to give it a 7 or an 8. It was a solid game. I'm excited to, for next year with a little bit less wall running and craziness. For Infinite Warfare, my plans are pretty simple. I'm going to continue uploading and streaming daily if I can. You know, whenever, whenever I can, I'm going to be pumping out content. Streaming will obviously do more than YouTube unless I see some insane growth on YouTube that comes out of nowhere with uh, some of the stuff I put out. I do feel like I have good content to bring to the table. I feel like I have made some improvements in my comms, my editing, things like that, even my gameplays and variety. But I still do have to work on some things and hopefully we do see some growth from that next year. Or next Call of Duty. I always refer to a Call of Duty game as a year, which is hilarious because they start in November. <laughs> my my year runs off of Call of Duty. That's pretty nerdy if I if I do say so. But um, streaming, it's just going to be the same thing. Try and keep them long. Try and keep them daily. We're going to get really back on that grind, especially when I move back out. Hopefully, by the end of Infinite Warfare, I'm back on my own with good internet and a lot of more time on my hands. I'm going to play competitive and pubs at the beginning and figure out which one I enjoy more and then we're just going to stick to whichever one I enjoy the most for about 90% of the time and then when I can't play whichever one I want to play I'll do the other thing, a little comp, a little pub stomping. Uh, the COD 4 Remaster, I'll be spending a lot of time on that game, that's for sure because I loved COD 4 so much. That's definitely not, I'm not going to, you know, forget about that game. I'm actually really excited for it, probably more so than Infinite Warfare if I haven't mentioned that before, which I'm sure I have because it's obvious. I will play, I think on the competitive side, I want to play COD 4 more than Infinite Warfare because I feel like I'll have a bigger advantage being a primarily ground COD player. Like most of the games I played were on the ground. And I'm, I'm good at these games. Like I would say that I abuse the movement just like everybody else. But I feel more at home on the ground. So if there's jet, like 
I noticed if you guys have saw the Charlie Intel tweet or in, in like Activision, whoever confirmed it, Infin I think it might have been Infinity War. They tweeted out saying, in private match, there's a jetpack disabling option and wall running and all that good stuff. The maps on the game that we played really weren't meant for wall running for the most part, except for like a few spots that were obviously just to wall run, like because there was, you know, you dropped to your death. Like on uh, Frost, like the, you know, the right side of where that big machine is, you can, or left side, whatever you're coming from, there's that big machine in the middle you can jump on and there's a wall run around it. So it looks like it's meant to be used in some cases, but for the most part, those maps seem to be able to play fine without exos and, you know, wall running. Uh, Advanced Warfare tried that idea. It sucked. Classic mode was not meant for it because the verticality was so high. So I'll probably play a little bit of ground-based competitive on Infinite Warfare if I can. Uh, COD 4, though, I want to do the whole nine. Wagers, tourneys, all that good stuff. If I'm as good as I, I am as I used to be on that game, should be fun. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to... Uh, that's pretty much my plans. Competitive, pub stomping, we'll figure it out. But whichever one I end up enjoying, I'm going to really, really work hard at. Hopefully COD 4, just because, I don't know, it's more skillful in my opinion overall. If you guys did enjoy this gameplay, the video, let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Twitter and Twitch links are in the description below. If you want to go follow me on both of those, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.